Okay, right. I'm Chris, and I'm going to talk about a bit of a hardware thing, about actually smart Kanban boards, when things work. So most people who use kind of agile development methodologies have a big board which has Kanban cards on it because in the IT industry we like copying the Japanese car industry of the 1950s. And certainly where I work, we have a physical board with post-it notes on, or it used to be post-it notes, and that tracks everything we're up to at the moment. But we also have a virtual world where we have issue systems, ticket systems, and they're totally disconnected. We have no bridge between them. So I kind of had this mad idea. How about, you know, it's very common that we present the virtual world into the physical world. How about if we link the real world with the virtual world? So how about the physical act of moving a ticket updates JIRA? Then, so I'm from London and Contact lists is massive in London. That's all based on a technology called RFID. So I just ran the thought, how about we use RFID cards as Kanban cards, and then we can link them to the virtual world, and then when we move them in the morning and stand up, we update everything in the virtual world. Just like this. So this is our team's board. This is one of my colleagues, Ian. And we have a set of hardware readers at the top of our board. And in the morning, we pick up our card, tap it on where it needs to go, and place it back on the board. And then that keeps Jira up to date. Everybody's happy. My managers aren't moaning at me because I've not updated Jira. So how did we make this happen? Well, if you can read, that's the Mark III hardware. I've been through quite a few revisions of the circuit hardware. But this is actually working now. So. On the top, we've got an RFID reader module, which is just stock off the shelf. There's a little um, OLED display, which was just really handy for being able to do config and you know, making sure it's working. And then if we kind of strip those bits off, we have two core chips. So we've got a standard Atmel 80 Mega 328, which is running the RFID reader. And that's all programmed in Arduino. We then got over in the corner a Wi Fi module. So these will actually all connect to Wi Fi and it will talk up to a back end service over a protocol called MQTT. Um, and that little chip has a whole 80 kilobytes of RAM, which when you're used to dealing with servers with you know, a terabyte of RAM, it's a bit different. And that you know, has interesting limitations like you can't do TLS on it because you physically don't have enough space to put a certificate chain, um, let alone. Yeah. But uh, I wanted to encrypt stuff, so I do actually have AES encryption laid over the top of MQTT. So what I should now try to do is a live demo. So this is, it doesn't look so great on a 4K display, I guess, um, or whatever the resolution this is. But this is kind of our connected Kanban system. And at the moment, this is a really simple setup. We've got three lanes, to do, doing, done. And I have some cards. So in theory, if I touch it, it'll move. Although it's very hard because I'm in reverse. There we go. So, quite straightforward. And 
you know, the very act of moving things then goes and triggers integrations into other systems. At the moment, it's only got Jira. And another thing we can do is actually create a ticket. So it's fairly straightforward to create a ticket and push it down to the board. And now in theory, you should have a nice light here and I can touch it. And I've now written a card which has even appeared on the main board in to-do. And I can now move it along. So quick demo actually worked as well. So so kind of where next? I'm working on a Mark IV version of the hardware that uses the newer ESP32 chip. So massive advantage of the ESP32 chip is I can get rid of the dual CPUs I've currently got because it's got more than one SPI bus on it. Whereas the ESP8266 at the moment doesn't have an SPI bus you can utilize. So I can't talk to the RFID reader. Um, I also want to try and import, improve the integration. So at the moment it only works with Jira and not that well because Jira is a pain in the ass. So is anybody from Altassin? <laughs> um, and I'm going to add, add support for Trello. I've had a few people that have asked for Trello support. And I want to try and open source more of it. At the moment I've open sourced bits of the Arduino code and some of the protocol layer, but at the moment all of the kind of moving stuff around the actual stuff running on the board is I haven't open sourced yet. I don't know how much interest there is. So, so thank you very much for listening. Any questions? Yeah, I'm just wondering if you've got multiple tickets in your name on one of the columns. Yep. How does it go to move? Um, so that doesn't it's irrelevant because you move the physical card. Um, so at the moment, I mean, there is support for you know people being able to tag into the board and saying who's moving it. The moment doesn't really work very well, but you just move because you're moving individual cards. Um, it doesn't matter about who's moving it or what's moving it, and that that card's individual, right? I I guess what I'm confused though is can't you have multiple cards in one column? Yeah, yeah, of course. So how does it know which one to move? Because you're moving the actual card. Yes. Yeah, sorry. So, you know, a task oh, is on the board. You move a, you move the task, and then okay. everything cascades so off that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that depends on you know what you're doing. It depends on your you know. I mean, you have a lot of cards. Uh, yes. So, yeah, okay. thankfully, they're quite cheap. They're only twenty pence each, and you can reuse them. So, you know, it's not like you throw the paper away. You can just take the ink off and put the ink back on. How does the initial synchronization of the card with the GR works? I mean, like you probably have like a new task which you put on the board. You have to put some data manually somewhere, or yeah, at the moment. So this is one of the things I want to improve with the integration with Jira. Um, kind of ideally, maybe have a button in Jira and you can say write to board, and that does it all. Or the way I was originally going to do it is you write the card here and it creates a ticket in Jira. Um, it's just that you know I haven't got enough time to sit down and work out how on earth the Jira web plugins work because they're quite complicated. Yeah, and maybe the, the other question is probably more like a general question related to the Kanban itself. Like, uh, did you also try to use it like completely in electronic, like for just the Trello? The reason why I ask is that we used to use uh, like a physical Kanban on the board, then we switched sure. to Trello mostly because of the remote workers because that was a problem when like uh, half of the people are not in the office. It's hard to use that. Uh, so I'm course. just curious if that works fine. Um, so, I mean, yes, of course, that is a, a different approach as I mentioned about presenting the virtual world into the real world. Um, that has two big limitations. At the moment, screen resolution is just shit. Ah. You know, if you have a 32 inch at 4K, you've only got 100 DPI. And if you've got, you know, my company's cheap, they won't pay for a 4K display. So 1080p, you can barely read the text. And let alone Jira's layout, doesn't use all the screen, etc. 
Um, you know, all these things are solvable, but also a 4K display, say 32 inches, is really expensive. You're talking, what, two, three grand? Mm -hmm. Whereas that whole board, you know, their 20 quid module in parts, although it took a lot longer to build them. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, um, thanks. But yeah, I mean, also, this doesn't work if you're in a massively distributed team. It's not designed for that. That's a different problem. Solve that a different way. Any other questions? Thanks. Um, but for the remotees, it's basically just a representation of the Kanban board. Uh, do you have any plans for a robot arm that actually moves <laughs> cards around? <laughs> you know what? Everybody's asked that. and. Yeah, why not? I mean, that would be quite, quite cool when you could have something that slided over and move cards, etc. as the virtual hand. I mean, what we just do is tell our Scrum Masters to do it if we're at home. <laughs> that works quite well. Any other questions? Oh, thank you very much. <laughs>